Hello everyone, it is Neil from The Scientist here, and today we are going to be doing a Draw My Life of Alice Ball. Alice Ball was a female scientist who did incredible work in the field of medicine. In fact, she is most known for her development of a treatment for leprosy. So Alice Augusta Ball was born on July 24, 1892 in Seattle, Washington. Alice was the third child to be born out of four children. She had two older brothers and a younger sister. Her dad was a lawyer while her mother was a photographer and they were known as a kind, upper-middle-class family. Like Alice's mother, Alice's grandfather, James Ball Sr., was a photographer, and he was a very well-known photographer. In fact, it was for him that Alice's family moved to Honolulu. Unfortunately, when James Ball Sr. passed away, the family did move back to Seattle. Alice absolutely excelled in high school, and she graduated in 1910. After this, she went on and acquired degrees in both pharmacy and chemistry from the University of Washington and the College of Hawaii. then became the first African American and first woman in general to graduate from the College of Hawaii with an MS degree. So she was offered a teaching and research position and became the College of Hawaii's first women chem instructor at just 23 years old. So because Alice was given this opportunity to research, she strived to create a treatment for Hansen's disease, which is also known as leprosy. She was able to create the first injectable treatment from a somewhat successful topical agent. Alice was highly successful and created a method that helped thousands of individuals. People were discharged from hospitals and isolation facilities and could safely return home to their families. Unfortunately, Alice was never able to see the outcome of her research and treatment of leprosy. On December 31st of 1916, Alice, at the age of just 24, was in a tragic lab teaching accident. She inhaled chlorine gas and ultimately passed away at this very young age. Following her death, the president of the College of Hawaii continued her research and gave her no credit whatsoever. He even called it the Dean Method after his own name, Dr. Arthur Dean. In 1922, Dr. Harry Hallman published a paper giving Alice Ball the credit she deserves. But recently, she has been properly remembered for her work in the medical field. Her discoveries helped so many people and inspired other very, very important research. Like many female scientists, she was able to inspire me and so many others, and I hope that she inspires you too. That concludes Alice Ball's Draw My Life. Thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and check out the Miss Scientist channel. Bye!